everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Jess. And today we're going to be doing a house plant tour. I'm really excited. I'm going to show you all the plants in my living room, um, the kitchen, and the bathroom has a few plants. And then um, we'll finish up in my actual plant room um, and my studio uh, where I keep my grow lights with all of my succulents. So I thought it would be fun to jump on here, show you some of the new plants that I've picked up um, since my last house plant tour. Kind of an update on how some of my plants are doing. Um, and kind of hopefully give you guys some ideas of maybe how you can arrange your plants, but also um, I wanted to also share with you some of the ideas that I have for what I'm going to do next with some of my plants. Um, and maybe you guys can leave your comments down below if you think they're good ideas or not. Uh, so let's jump in and start here in the living room. Okay, so first off, I wanted to show you this little corner that I was just in. Um, Back in this corner, I have my Majesty Palm. It is doing amazing. Um, I take it into the shower to water it once a week. Um, and then here is a new plant that I just picked up from Lowe's. It was only $20, I think. Um, and it is a Norfolk Island Pine. And I've been looking for one of these for a really long time. And so I was so excited to find one at Lowe's for a reasonable price, because all the ones that I was finding were a hundred some plus dollars and so for a, a plant this large I was really excited. It's technically a Christmas plant and so it's in a Christmas planter and I've kind of just thrown it in this corner for now until I find a better home for it. Um, but it is so pretty and the leaves are so soft. It's actually technically uh, like a tropical plant and so it doesn't like the cold and so I have to keep it nice and warm and toasty. It's not like my normal pine trees that are outside in my yard. Um, then in this corner we have a Birds of Paradise here. It is so cute. It's grown so much um, and it's loving life. It's putting on new leaves all the time. And then here in this corner, this is a Monstera Deliciosa. Um, it has beautiful, or a split leaf philodendron. It has beautiful massive leaves. Um, it does, it could probably benefit for, from a little bit more sunlight since there's no south facing window, which this is a south wall. Um, and it really only gets a little bit of light in the evening, um, but it's doing fine. I wish it had a little bit more light so that the leaves would split a little bit more. I've tried putting a grow light in this lantern here and it makes the living room look really strange. So I didn't love it and I took it out, um, but it's healthy and it's growing and making new leaves. They're just not all the time split as much as I would want them to be. Here is our little hutch and I just am in love with my hutch. But at the very top here, I have a spider plant or an airplane plant, um, whatever you prefer to call it. There are tons of little babies and you can just take these off and plop them in some soil and they will grow new roots and they're doing amazing. Um, these tend to propagate more when they're root bound. So if you have one and it's not sending off these little babies, um, try a smaller pot and it might you might be more successful in getting it to make little offsets. Then in this corner of the couch, I did want to show you my African mask plant. Now, this one has kind of had a little bit of a rough go at it. This leaf is dying. Um, I'm just letting it go because it is putting on its first new leaf and it looks absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. This leaf died a little bit ago, so I'm just leaving it be. I have struggled with this plant every single day since I bought it and I've had it for probably a year and this is the first new leaf. So we're just going to leave that one be and let it do its thing. So then here we have a bird's nest. It is doing so well in this spot. Um, this is a window that gets um, afternoon sun, um, but it's got these nice full leaves. Um, it's making bunches of babies and it's just really healthy. And then right next to it, we have my Sansevieria or my snake plant um, that's doing really well. I have it in this really fun stand from Hobby Lobby. It's still actually planted in its nursery pot, which you can kind of see inside. Um, but it's, it was just really healthy and I feel like I really like the drainage holes that a lot of the nursing pots have. So I just wanted to leave him in there and see if he'd like this spot. Then back in here, I have a little propagating basil, a few more propagating snake plants just sitting in a little cup of water. And then this is a crinkly jade succulent. Uh, jades are 
a succulent that can tolerate a lot less light and so it's really happy in this spot um, and has probably been here for about a year and just doing really well. So I wanted to step back and show you my front window. So we have this really fun ladder that I actually got from my grandpa. It was a ladder that he was using up until recently, um, but it was a little old and rickety, so he decided to retire it, um, and we were able to make it into this really fun hanging plant stand. Um, then I have just a bunch of really fun hanging pots um, that are hanging off of it, and like a few fun little things like that lantern and some propagation planters that are hanging off. So I wanted to just kind of give you this overview before we show you the close-up um, just because it does look really fun and pretty in this corner. And then this is kind of what the ground looks like. It's not my most favorite. It has a lot of work that needs to be done, but I am really in love with it. So then the next thing that is sitting on my windowsill in this bay window is this awesome planter that I got from With My Bare Hands. It's an Etsy shop. I'll include a link down below in the description if you're interested. It's so pretty, but it has these beautiful little porcelain cups that have little drainage holes in these fun leather handles, and all of these plants are doing so well. I also made a video of me planting it up that I'll include down below. Then up here we have a begonia. This one actually, I have no idea what type it is, but it's kind of a little bit sentimental. It was my great great grandmothers and there's been a cutting that has been passed down to every person um, in her family so um, it's a very old plant and has kind of stayed in the family for a while so it's just kind of a little family reminder and then here is another plant that has some sentimental value this is um, a plant that my husband's great grandmother had in her house um, and so we have a nice little planting of this here. It's doing really well and it's really happy. And then kind of back here hidden we have a little bird's nest propagation. I'll bring this down but this is another type of Sansevieria that's doing really well in its spot. Then up here we have a neon pothos which is loving its spot here. Um, another spider plant, the Chinese money plant. Um, it's doing really good. It's really happy. There's lots of propagating babies on it. And then we have a bird's nest fern underneath that's also doing really well. All of these leaves are brand new. Um, they're nice and light green and shiny, and it's been just producing leaves like no other. <laughs> um, then we have some pothos that are propagating in these containers. They probably need a little bit more water. Then we have a spear point spearhead or spear point ivy. I thought it would be fun to try to get it to climb up the ladder. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of it, but it also hasn't climbed up completely yet. So we'll see how it looks after it gets kind of established up there, but um, I thought it could be kind of fun. And then here we have a fiddly fig. I had this actually outside on our patio. These new leaves are absolutely massive, um, which gives me a lot of hope for it. I'm really happy with how it's growing. Um, I struggled really hard with my first fiddly fig, but now these are just absolutely ginormous and really kind of loving life in its new spot. So um, I'm not too worried about it anymore. And then in this little corner, we have a little calathea, which has these really fun dark purple undersides of its leaves. Then on this stand up here, we just have another little bird's nest, um, Sansevieria. And then this is our piano, and I don't have any plants here. I did have a plant up here, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, this is the plant that I had up there, but I felt like it needed a little bit more light um, for the life of me. I cannot remember what this one is called, but um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It was a fairy type plant when I picked it up. It has a new leaf forming and then in this little glass there's a blue torch cactus in here that's doing really well. So here is my succulent pumpkin. The plants are doing great. The only thing that I kind of forgot to account for is the sunlight aspect. And so some of them are stretching out just a little bit, but um, I'm going to be 
disassembling this here in not too long. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. And then I'll place them back under my grill lights where they'll be really happy. Um, then in this corner of the kitchen, we have another plant, which for the life of me, I also can't remember the name of it. If I remember, I will include a link on the screen or a name on the screen here, but this is its brand new leaf. Isn't that fun? I think it's a type of philodendron, um, but it had three leaves when I got it and now it has this brand new one that just unraveled and is so shiny and perfect and I love it. Um, and I just thought these fun frilly leaves were really unique. And then this is the only herb that I have in my kitchen. This is a basil plant and there are actually a few little walking onion babelets um, stuck under here. But what I would really love to do is I have this window that's in front of my sink here um, and I'd love to make kind of an herb garden that's hanging in front of this light because this gets great morning light. And so I'm thinking I'll make a fun planter up here to kind of go above my kitchen sink and I'll include a video for you guys of me making that if you're interested. But um, live basil is very handy to have on hand and it's very, um, it's very easy to grow indoors. And then these are my only other two kitchen plants. Um, they kind of go over our staircase here, but I got these fun planters at Walmart, but these are two spider plants or airplane plants. This one's doing amazing and is really quite thriving. And I don't know if it's because it gets more light and this one's kind of sad and struggling. So I'm not quite sure, but, um, I would love to <laughs> figure this out. I want to paint this wall and white so that they kind of reflect off a little bit more. This is the color that the house was and we just never decided on what color we wanted to paint it, so it's brown. But hopefully in the next few weeks, I'll get it painted. Um, and I'd love to put something really fun here, like a plant, like a living wall would be really neat, but I don't think it gets enough sunlight for that. Welcome to the bathroom. <laughs> um, I only have a few plants in here. This here is a Birds of Paradise plant. It is doing absolutely amazing. These leaves are getting massive and it barely gets any light in here, but it is really loving this spot. I think because it gets quite a bit of humidity. And then the other plants I had in here that I just didn't have a fun spot to show you. So I just left them in the bathtub where they were getting watered. But these are elephant ears that I actually had growing outside that I've brought in for the winter so and to see if I could keep them in here as house plants so they're growing really well and they've gotten a lot of new leaves and are looking really pretty and then I have a little bamboo plant right up here that I've had for years now so then this here is my plant room this room is an absolute chaotic mess right now because I just kind of throw a bunch of stuff in here um, for the time being. But I did want to show you a few things that I have growing in this plant room. So I just bought these two plants here. This one is a Brazil pothos. Look at the fun variegation on that. And then this one is a marble, I believe that's what they called it, um, a marble queen pothos. And I just loved this variegation. And again, I bought these at Lowe's as well. Um, and I just, I, pothos are so great for low light situations and so I'm really excited to kind of get these to kind of fill in some of my lower light areas. Then I have my Monstera adansonii which is doing really good. It's loving this spot. It has a humidifier set up behind it that sometimes has water in it. Um, then we have some English ivy. This is my fiddly fig that my original one. Um, it's had a lot of good new leaf growth. I think I finally figured out how to water it. Its old growth was really struggling. I have another Birds of Paradise, um, some propagating plants, and then this planter was a really fun planter that was hanging up above my piano, and then it broke, and so I had to take it down because it was a hanging planter, but it has some variegated pothos in it, um, this really beautiful and very prolific syngonium is all in here and then there's this blue star uh, or not blue star fern there's some type of fern that I'll put the name of on the screen if I can find it um, but it was finally doing really well and I finally was getting it to grow and then the planter broke of course then up here I have this paddle leaf cactus that was sitting outside all summer that I brought in for the winter um, my Christmas cactus um, some propagations from the snake plant there's some aloe back here 
some more snake or some spider plant propagations which are doing really well a little Chinese money plant and a bird's nest and then this is my aluminum plant which always looks amazing when it's watered properly um, and then I think I have a random succulent back there and then down here like I said it's a chaotic mess so please ignore I have a bunch of pots but this is actually a candle lily and some elephant ears that I brought inside to see if they would do anything and they seem to be fairly happy um, so I'm kind of excited to see if they'll do anything for me and then we have the grow lights here so I have uh, my carnivorous plants are in here actually they've been an interesting roller coaster so I have two that are still alive at least and then one died and then the other one I accidentally threw away because it went dormant and I didn't realize what their dormancy looked like so I was very done with that one but um, some little propagations these are my little seedlings um, from seed and then we just got a lot of really neat ones I just potted these up these are my succulent seeds as well um, up here is the next tray of succulents which are all looking amazing. I've posted a lot of videos on these guys um, since this is mainly what I talk about but um, they all look really good. So that is my house plant tour. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, as a question of the video, leave a comment down below of what your favorite house plant is or if you have any questions on taking care of house plants. I did want to mention though that I do have a few ideas for my house plants. One, I want to make that herb garden above my kitchen. I think I'd really benefit from that and it'd be really handy to have some of those herbs growing in a great sunlight spot and also that I would be able to use them when I'm cooking because my cooking space is right there. And then also the other thing I wanted to do is make a living wall or like a propagation wall. So I'll have to kind of figure out a little something. I don't know if above the staircase will be a great spot for it because it'll be really hard for me to reach a lot of stuff. But um, I have a few different spots and options in my house where I think something like that would be really neat to try. So le let me know what you guys think down below. If you haven't already, go ahead and click this like button for this video if you found it fun to watch and enjoyable. And then also don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any other videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.